The Separatists built the Malevolence in secret at the Pament Docks, unleashing it under the command of General Grievous. The first of the Separatists' new Subjugator-class warships, the massive battleship was four times the size of the Republic's Venator-class Star Destroyers, and boasted twin ion pulse cannons capable of laying waste to an entire task force. It was the brainchild of a shipwright who dreamed of recapturing ships, waste heat, and other propulsion byproducts and funneling this energy into massive grids of batteries. As Grievous discovered, the malevolence was a danger to itself as well as to its enemies, with ion blasts often bleeding back into the ship's other systems and disrupting them. Count Dooku saw that the malevolence could be a superb terror weapon, forcing the Republic to scramble entire fleets to track it down. It destroyed much of the Republic Fourth Fleet, ambushed General Plo Koon's flagship at Abrogado, and then targeted the Kalita Shoals Medical Center where tens of thousands of injured clones were being treated. The Republic sent Plo Koon, Anakin Skywalker, and Ahsoka Tano to hunt down the warship with the Squadron of Y-Wings. The hastily assembled Shadow Squadron engaged the Malevolence at Kalita Shoals, targeting its bridge in hope of disabling the Pulse Cannon controls and killing Grievous. When that failed, the pilots targeted the pulse cannons directly, overloading the ship's port side weapon and badly damaging the vessel. Grievous fled, hotly pursued by the Republic, as his crew frantically tried to repair the Malevolence's hyperdrive. They succeeded, but Skywalker had sabotaged the ship's Navicomputer and it plowed down into the dead moon of Antar.